So I think this week a good place to start is how much you can really get done in a day when you've got a plan. So that's basically on the basis. Basically on the basis. I'll leave you to that, lads. <laughs> Welcome. <laughs> so we've promised people on the vlog over the last few weeks that we will sit down and do 10 to 15 minutes of conversation about different topics, things that we can't necessarily waste time on the vlog. The vlog, as we all know, is like pretty fast paced and what have you. So we don't want to sit there dishing out absolute fire knowledge for five, 10 minutes at a time. So what we've decided to do instead is once a week, we'll sit down as a three We'll pick a general topic around the world that we live in, which is obviously video creation and that sort of stuff. Um, and we'll sit down have a bit more in-depth conversation because some of you in the comments across the YouTube channel over the last few weeks have requested content such as this. So here we are, what we talk about this week. So I think this week a good place to start is how much you can really get done in a day when you've got a plan. So that's basically on the basis. Basically on the basis. I'll leave you to that, lads. <laughs> <laughs> um, so that's that's on the basis of when you're sort of planning a shoot day, for example, is getting the most out of it in terms of our own time, because obviously we don't want to be going back and forth to loads of places, but also for the time of the client and what they get. Um, so, so this is specifically properly. about client shoots when we go to do yeah. a, a, say a day's filming for a client not necessarily how much we can get done in the office in a day it's about clients isn't it yeah about clients about yeah. clients so how much can you get done in a day what do we plan let's let's tell people let's um we aren't going into specifics yeah. um let's say uh, like this week we've gone to do uh the hotel yeah. So we, we've got the hotel job. People have seen clips of that on the vlog. Yeah. We've decided the brief for the hotel was basically um, we're setting up a brand new website. We need photos of the rooms, the conference areas, the bar area, you know, this type of stuff to be able to put on the website so people can see what the place looks like that they're staying in. So that was almost the brief for the day one shoot. Mm -hmm. But we managed to get a hell of a lot more than that out of it. How did we do that? Yeah, so obviously working as a team has benefits of having more people available at the same time. Uh, so approaching it, obviously the main thing was photos of like the rooms, photos of like the bar area, the stuff that you'd typically see on a website on advertising. But because there's a few of us, we don't want to take pictures of exactly the same thing. And then once you've sort of set up and shifted stuff around and set lights up if you need to set lights up, once all that's done, the other two people are just, they're just there, like while one person takes the pictures. So to, you know, utilize what we had, it meant that like I went and did like the main shots of the rooms. So I've got the wide shots of the rooms, wide shot of outside, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. At the same time, Jordan, it freed you up to then you could go around getting detail shots. At the same time, I'm getting the stock shots they wanted. We're also getting all the detail shots. So that's things of like decoration. Um, drinks on the bar, like all just various bits, like details of rooms, anything. Um, but it's stuff that if I was going to do the rooms, then do the details, obviously I'm doing twice the time of work. Um, so my day is used up quicker. But obviously two of them being done at the same time. At the same time, you're vlogging everything. Mm -hmm. So that's content not only for us to document what we're doing, but that's also promotion for the hotel as well because it's something they can look at or like someone might come across and go, oh, that hotel looks all right, actually. Yeah. Um, so as an agency, it's almost an extra benefit feature yeah. of what we provide, isn't it? It's like yeah. if you're happy for us to do so, we will also vlog our experience of coming in. So like, so the vlog the other day that you've seen, or last week, whenever this has gone out, I don't know. Um, but you'll have seen the vlog of us showing you behind the scenes of going there. While we're doing that, we're indirectly, if you like, but we know what we're doing kind of thing. Yeah. We happen to be promoting that hotel as well. So the hotel's not only getting the photos that they wanted, they're then getting like what you said, the extra stuff. Jordan's then going doing this detail stuff. Then they're also featuring in our vlog that's building up its own following. Yeah. It's like they're getting way more than just some photos for a website. Yeah. And at the same time, <clears throat> we also throwed in a couple of reels as well for Instagram and like TikTok use and whatnot. Like, again, they're, because we know what we're doing, they were made in less than a minute. We made, I think I made two reels in like two minutes. Yeah. It was the only like, time where I was like, my iPhone has failed me. <laughs> 
Yeah. So Android, you can basically start recording video on, well, I don't know if it's all Android, yeah, on know, your phone. Mine, anyway, mine, yeah. So, yeah, and you can like pause the recording and then restart it. So it'll still show in your camera roll as one video, but it'll look like it's been edited and jumped because yeah. you can pause it, go to the next room, start filming that as if you're just skipping through the hotel and stuff. Whereas obviously like on my iPhone that I was filming there, we're obviously using cameras for some stuff. But again, another pro tip really, whip your phone out like... Yeah. Pretty much, if you've got a phone that's like less than what three years old or whatever, it's gonna do the job. And if and if it's one of the re- more up to date phones, it's shit up basically. Like most cameras are really really good. So well, yeah, we were doing 4K that as cameras, well. isn't they? Like, yeah, yeah, my, yeah. <laughs> Which is four K camera in your pocket. What would you say? Like, what's your thought process when we're going out on that? What's the difference between you going and doing the job on your own? And then you doing the job with a team. Which makes it easier, doesn't it? Yeah. Because, like, so, obviously, like you said, you've got, so it splits it up, so we're not in the same room. So when we got to the first room, you know, the first room of stairs, we just stood around waiting. Mm. So then, obviously, when that happened, we went to, so I went downstairs, got the bar stuff, and we got all that, and then it just made it quicker. And then we had food. And you had uh, two pints and two fruit shoots, if I remember the vlog correctly. <laughs> they didn't have a play area, so it's yeah. a bit disappointing. <laughs> I'm, like, <laughs> I'm like the network. Yeah, so unfortunately, funny. there was no play area. <laughs> yeah, just like I went and played in the play area while well, you two <laughs> did the big mister's work. So I'll, I will be making a complaint about no play play zone. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but no, I think no. I think that is, like I was saying, it's... Uh, the the brief was very basic for this and by the way I, we're not meaning like basic because like the, no one knows what they're doing or whatever but like, this is a specific task we need this for now and then there's like different days of shooting for this particular client to get other types of content but yeah. the basic brief for day one shoot was we need some photographs of certain areas for the website what we've ended up actually getting there then was th- all of those photos as well as the detailed shots, as well as a couple of reels, as well as being promoted as part of our vlog, yeah. as well as then we start taking some pan shots for video that can be used for social media later on. And then, the, like saying, back to the detailed shots, why I keep pointing that out with Jordan was, um, they can be used for like cool social media content later yeah. in the in the in down the line. So you, you get a lot more. Well, just them DM details alone. If like you did daily posting, for example, you end up with, yeah, yeah, I've just, that you're easily gonna have a month's worth of content mm. so not only are you getting the initial bit because if someone just turned up and was like, oh the brief is some photos of the rooms for the for the website all right cool done that's that's good like but we always want to go like the next step obviously this is work this is in workshops so about half hour travel for us so it's now half hour each way it's an hour hour travel total so yeah. if we can turn up and deliver them extra bits we're saving the only an hour's travel and whatever time we'd be there filming them bits it's all done in that one thing and because we're doing it at the same time, there's no extra time either. There's only the yeah, time yeah. when it comes to editing, there's a bit extra involved. Yeah. Um, because there's more stuff to go through. But the client then's getting a lot more than what they initially expected. Yeah. And we're utilizing our time to deliver to the best of our well, options, basically. Yeah, yeah. And and just reiterating about like having a phone in your pocket i got home last night after that shoot i quickly like thought oh whack them all in an album on my phone They're, like 112 photos just on my phone <laughs> and like obviously i was just like whipping my phone out taking the odd like food shot or whatever some of them were behind the scenes so another part like jordan i don't know if you want to talk for a second like part of your um role yesterday as well we're oh, kind yeah. of getting footage of us so that's yeah. quite important so the important thing for that was to get photos of us so that we can document what we've done and show that we've gone out and done this. Because what you see with most companies is to say, oh, yeah, we've worked with so-and-so business, but you don't see any of them actually working doing it, yeah. seeing the gear, seeing what we do. And when people... S- Firstly, for me, when I watch YouTube videos, I want to see how it's done. I want to see their gear. I want to see how they do this, how they do that. And that's what I like to do with, you know, taking photographs of all of us. Yeah. So, like, where, like Rob will be, like, setting up a shot that's, you know, a proper client shot and what have you. And then Jordan will just be like snapping Rob taking the shot. And then I'll be asking Rob on the vlog, why are you taking the shot like this? Like, what's your thinking? What's this aperture? And like focusing and all the F.2 nonsense. <laughs> all the stuff that <laughs> I genuinely have no clue about whatsoever. But that's why we make a great team. But then I'm asking you that because you don't have to think about 
how you're explaining or making a video on how to explain stuff because you know I'll just come and ask you stuff yeah, and then you'll tell me the answer and then I'm worried about how that then fits into a, a whole vlog of behind the scenes and I think that is something that really does set us apart or I mean if anybody else is doing this please like tag them <laughs> I want to have a watch how other people are doing this other video agencies and stuff because I haven't seen anyone locally by the way obviously like there might be someone in America or whatever it is because there's some really big agencies on YouTube and stuff oh, in yeah. different countries mm-hmm. but locally I do think it sets us apart the fact that we're, do, we're there's so many things so many moving parts it looks like on the surface oh they are a video and photography agency and they've gone to take some photos or shoot a video but what's actually happening is yes we're taking photos, we're taking video, we're creating reels, we're doing a vlog for ourselves. We're also then um, taking loads of photographs for our own Instagram and LinkedIn and our own social. It's like there's so many things that we're doing all at once. And I think that's something that we spoke about first. Like that's what's going to make us different. Yeah. And I really like that we've seemed to have got this nice, well-oiled machine happening here. Yeah, because that's something particularly working on my own before working like as a team or even like if it's a shoot that I didn't need anybody because there's shoots I did before when it was just me but I'd need somebody else like them ones where it was just me I'd be like oh cool I've done it but there's no when it comes to posting on my social media <laughs> I ain't got anything to post yeah. so that's what, like Jordan was saying weren't it it's yeah like, yeah oh yeah you went and did this did you cool there's no evidence yeah. of it I mean yeah. we know you did it but if you want to promote yourself to be able to keep doing it and get more jobs you kind of need some content of yourself oh, doing exactly. it. It's like yeah. when I, when I obviously I've vlogged for years, it's like I can't, I always look through my camera reel and I'm like, there's no pictures of me actually vlogging. That's why if you look through my Instagram, at that David underscore, if you look through my Instagram, like there's just loads of like selfie video, which I quite like selfie photos, but at the same time, now you'll see the odd one of me stood there holding yeah. the vlog rig and that's like one of you to have taken that yeah, photo and it's like, yeah. I need more of that to show what I'm actually doing, yeah. what it looks like. Yeah, I think there's a massive benefit of, of working to, together because we're creative people and we're doing that for clients. <laughs> like We should be the masters of doing it for ourselves, in which, yeah. to be fair... I mean, masters is a strong word. <laughs> we're doing well, we're doing well. <laughs> I think well, we can't put our views out across social media now, but like, it must be on like fifteen thousand plus. Yeah, and we're in uh, in week four. I don't know if there's anything else you want to add to this particular topic, but if not, I think we should um, because this is our first one of this type of thing. Yeah. Um, maybe we do just spend a couple of minutes. Like we're now on in our fourth week. So yeah. so basically, how it started in December, we'd spoke about doing this collaboration a few months ago Mm. but the wheels didn't start turning until december and then they turned a little bit and it turned into well shall we open like shall we get a space so that hq the space that we're in now and have our own studio set up and stuff i would say the the agency didn't actually properly start until we moved in here because we didn't really promote it or put it out there we were just kind of like we are going to do this but it weren't until we moved in here so i'm i'd say like we're only three weeks and three days in. Yeah. And already, I think we're doing pretty, like, we're literally getting in quite, and this isn't to, like, show off or whatever. This is because we're documenting this for people to follow along, well, as well and, as for us to look everyone back. Everyone can see how much we're posting. Obviously, there's the daily YouTube stuff. There's yeah. practically, the last few days at least, like, Instagram has gone into, like, a rhythm with that now. Mm. Um, like the Facebook, of, like, everything, all our stuff mm. now is starting to... It's a role and it's that consistency now starting to sort of kick in a little bit. And that's it, and it's the consistency. And and that's what we've spoke about at length off camera is about we've got to be consistent. Like it's no I remember having a conversation on WhatsApp a couple of weeks ago and where we were like, listen, we I think it was after the first week and we we're like, look, week one's gone really well here. Like we had we had inquiries coming in straight away. Yeah. Um we'd got off to a good start with the vlog. The vlogger like were banging over hundred views on like what I'm was a revived channel and stuff which doesn't sound a lot but i think the i think our average view time which is averaging at like 55 60 percent of our videos get watched uh, on average 55 to 60 percent of the video is being watched which is if you're into youtube and stuff like that that's like really good so it's almost like we don't need big views we're getting the right views the right people we want to watch our content are watching it and i remember after the first week we we're like wow this has gone really well 
we must stay consistent. We can't let yeah. this drop. And I think now, like I say, we're nearly at the end of the fourth working week. I think I think we're if oh we're, we're ramping things up. We're leveling up week on week. Yeah, because yeah, that first week, like it was just YouTube. Um whereas now like the other platforms are starting to pick up pace in terms of like the daily posting sort of thing and like good content as well. Because that's the thing. Like you got people say like, Oh yeah, do daily posting, it's really good. But like there's times when people you can clearly look at it and just go you literally posted for the sake of it, and it's, yeah. it's you've got in bath. It's ten past nine, and you've gone. Oh shit! I posted, posted today. Yeah, like <laughs> there's a and, picture and of me tell, toes popping yeah, out at bubbles. Can, oh, it's been an hard day. <laughs> <laughs> it's like yeah, no one cares. Where's yeah. the good content at? Like, so I think that's the thing is that because we're doing so much as well, like we're really quite <laughs> we've been really active in the last few weeks. So there's a lot of good content that's that's going down well. Um, and also coming off the back of that as well in terms of saying got like 100 views but it's who's watching it's important because the statistics are higher um, that's something I always say is that that's better than obviously if you had 10,000 views but everyone watched 20 seconds yeah like, it's pointless means it's, nothing exactly like they're not getting the message at all whereas other people look at that and go oh 10,000 views wow yeah. like, I've got all these viewers but if they all watch 20 seconds and you've got a 10 minute video they're not exactly watching it, are they? It just counts as a figure. No. Um, that's what I'm like, most proud about. Like with yeah, the Daily Vogue, because obviously I, uh, I don't want to say I lead the Daily Vogue, but because that's the thing that I concentrate on every single day. It's like, I've got to get a vlog out. Like, and, and I include you two. Uh, well, we all do it together, yeah, yeah. but like, it's my thing where I'm like, right, I'm responsible for making sure this is edited, uploaded and out. And it's the mo it's the thing that I'm definitely most proud of is the fact that we'll put out a seven minute video and the average watch time's like nearly six minutes. Yeah. It'd be like five and a half <laughs> minutes. And it's like, what people are really watching this content because yeah. then you've got to take into account how many people will click on it not quite watch it and then maybe watch it later or they'll yeah. click on it watch a minute and be like yeah maybe it's not for me but on average people are watching most of the video it's like wow this shows that the content's actually good and we're yeah. hitting the people that we want to hit as well and how many yeah. people have actually come up to us at networking and stuff like yeah, that and mentioned bad. like something to do with the vlog yeah yeah, well, that's, that was it. We were literally leaving the networking, weren't we? And, um, yeah, someone sort of says, like, because if you've seen the vlog, the uh, one where we have the edit off, um, not bitter. But, uh, <laughs> but like, that is like, oh, yeah, yeah, I thought Jordan's the best. And, like, at first, I was like, it took me a second to think, oh, well, does he give, like, a rousing speech or yeah, something? Yeah, we had to like, like network about, didn't we? But, like, yeah, no, the, after the first cut of seconds, I thought, oh, I just know something about the edit. I'm like, wow, like, it's, it's, it's crazy. It's because cool. you don't know who's gonna you don't know who's gonna see what you're posting at the end of the day. No. And and we've literally got work off the back of the vlog. People going, We want to yeah. work with you because we've seen the vlog. We like the the way you are banter, the personality. It's like we want to be involved. And one thing that we really wanted to get across as well, and I remember us speaking about this as well off camera, was we almost want to build our own brand so much so that clients will want to work with us because it's us. It's almost like, oh, wow, like we want to get in with that agency because we'll be on their vlog. And, you know, you know, it becomes like a bit of a, a prestige type thing where it's like, we're not yeah. just working with any video company. We're working with that agency co and they're the ones that have built their own brand up. They've got their own daily vlog and it's really, really cool and we want to work with them. And that's literally already happened in this short space of time. Yeah, people wanting nice. to work with us because we're those people with the vlog and stuff. And just, I don't want to skip over the fact that Jordan absolutely wiped the floor with you in the edit. Yeah, Jordan, yeah. you need to Still speak up know. about this. How do you feel about winning that? How do I feel? I feel <laughs> proud. <laughs> I'd like to thank my mum. <laughs> like we, we ain't got an award for dad. you. <laughs> yeah. Oh, all right. Well, I see how it is, but I'm just a better editor. Your award is a smoothie. Yeah, yeah, the smoothie that we I mean, actually yeah. shot. <laughs> I know, I know. It's probably still clogged up in sync. <laughs> <laughs> We're going to have to do another edit off. Yeah. Maybe, I wonder if at some point w somebody else edits the vlog for one day and it, it, and we see if anybody notices, like, if the vlog's different yeah, or not. Yeah. Just to see. Yeah, I mean, I'm just thinking, I have to edit this it's your job. every night. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I'm up at, like, half oh, past ten at night, still editing <laughs> vlog every single night, by the way. Well, I, say, I have this thing where I keep saying every day and daily, and people think I mean seven days a week. What I mean is Monday to Friday. Yeah. Like I said, I'm going to gym every day, and they're like, Seven days? I'm like, no, you're mad. <laughs> Five will do. Chill out. Can you imagine, like, vlogging 
every day. Yeah, I could do that. No, I think mentally more than anything. Work. Yeah, because you got to think of the content. Yeah. And, and all the oh god yeah is it is yeah because some days I literally sat at the computer doing editing and like mm-hmm. almost like admin sort of tasks yeah and let's be honest they're not they're not exactly the most interesting to watch back no <laughs> like, no <laughs> that's it because we've got to add add something like if you watch the vlogs I, I hope that people get this but the vlog is generally either entertaining or educational yeah and if it's neither of those two bits when I'm watching the clips back I'm like if it doesn't add to being if it doesn't add to the entertainment and tell like the story of an entertaining bit or have some substance to be a bit educational it don't make it and i'll be honest we cut out way more than what goes in the vlogs i think yeah apart from them boring days where i'm struggling i've only got seven (laughs) minutes of content and it's like uh, yeah you can tell if it's like a three minute clip that's just like sounds a bit like rambling that's a day where we've got to like four o'clock that's like the equivalent of like your toes in the bath yeah and going, <laughs> toes in the bath oh, yeah, that's not really yeah not really done it <laughs> <laughs> that's the equivalent is like i almost went on the apprentice one time because that was a vlog when rob it? tell us one of them <laughs> stories <laughs> yeah story time with rob is like that's when you know that it's like a bit of slow yeah, day like, we're, we're I, struggling. Remember, I remember being there and going in the on premium program going, cut <laughs> <laughs> yeah you know it's a slow it's a slow day that's yeah. it but coming back to what you were saying earlier just with, um with like the content we're saying like obviously our personal sort of profiles effectively um obviously our message is sort of creating content with personality and that's really what it means isn't it yeah is that there's a lot of like faceless brands effectively i mean i did it when i had when i ran sort of bear north media that was very much like a just a logo. Yeah, it was just a logo. And everything was behind it. Everything was very formal because I felt like, oh, yeah, it needs to be formal because it's business. Yeah. But really, like, it's boring. We're just throwing like, caution to the wind now and going, listen, yeah. we'll just do what we want. Yeah. See where it takes us. See, see who likes it. And if, if you like it, you can work with us. And uh, <laughs> if you don't like what we're doing, you might not want to work with us. Yeah. But <laughs> that, that, by the way, might be next week's topic. We might actually discuss, um, we might not be right for you. But also, if you're another video creator, because I know there's a lot of like local freelancers and stuff that watch our stuff that like want to collaborate or get tips or whatever it is, or just you know they're not as far on in the journey as what we are, so they're yeah. just watching along and stuff. Um, what if the customer's not right for your agency? Because I, I think that's yeah. quite an interesting thing. Give us a thumbs up and let us know in the comments like if that's something that you'd like to listen to about like what if because I think that's a really interesting topic. Yeah, I think it what is, if yeah. the customer is not right for your agency? Is it about just getting that money or is it about going, it, this this might not work out, let's just move on, find a different agency or whatever. And is it okay yeah. to tell customers to shh, shh. And also, if you've got any Fuck ideas off. of future topics as well, <laughs> yes. like drop them in the comments as well. Because obviously we've got several to sort of get off the bat with. Mm-hmm. But uh, yeah, if you're watching and you see something or think, oh, you know, I want to hear more about that or it's a question or anything, um, yeah, drop it in the comments and it's something we can include in these in future future podcast episodes. 100%. Lovely. I was about to add the percent because I thought you were going to say 100 and I was like, ah. <laughs> <laughs> Can't leave it like that. No. <laughs> So, thank you very much. Please subscribe. We want to build up our subscriber base as well. All you people that are watching, thank you very, very much. Um, And yeah, subscribe to the channels. Follow along on this channel where we'll be posting all of our stuff and what have you. And also, obviously, jump on that agency co on Instagram, Facebook, um, and TikTok because uh, we're we're TikTok superstars in the train world. You'll have to go over there and have a look to uh, hear about that. Yeah, there you go. Bye. End of podcast. (laughs) (laughs) I'm going to go end of chat. (laughs) Francis Bourgeois, we're coming after you. Yes. Taking over your community, bro. (laughs) 